What a solid week. Cross-listing is working like a dream. I'm so happy we have cross-listing in Canada. And let's go over the sales for last week. Hey guys, Taz McCaffrey here from the Irving Goddess Shop. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a Canadian reseller and I sell clothing on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Depop. Poshmark is Bay. That's where I do most of my selling, but I am cross-listing onto other platforms now. Very excited. I've been using Prime Lister. It's available in Canada. It works on Canadian platforms. If you're watching from Canada, you need to hit the link down in my description, you'll get a seven day free trial and 30% off your first month. Give it a shot for seven days. It will change your reselling game. Okay, let's go on to these what solds. This is for July 5th to 11th. We had a fantastic week. I'm happy with this because I'm in the middle of summer slowdown. I've changed a few strategies. I'll talk about those at the end. Let's get through to the dollars. That's what you wanna know, right? In total, we sold $1,179 worth of items. Sales were really consistent throughout the month. I've been cross-listing quite a bit. I do like my higher end items onto Facebook Marketplace. I had three sales on Facebook Marketplace last week. The first one was a Wilfred yellow floral dress. It sold for $50. I actually had this dress listed in my Poshmark closet for like three months. I picked it up way, way back before the snow melted. Cross-listed it last week onto Facebook and it sold right away. Our uh, next item was a Joseph Ribkoff blouse. This sold for $30 as well. I've had this in my closet again for a couple months and just started cross-listing these items over. And the last item was a pair of Lululemon Wonder Under Crops in a size eight and they sold for $75, which is awesome because I think the new it tags price is 98. I'm finding on Facebook Marketplace, as long as it's a pretty current style Lululemon, I'm actually getting a pretty good price for them because if you shop at Lululemon, they don't really have sales on like their Wonder Unders or their Aligns or things like that. They're like a standard price. They rarely go on sale. So if someone can lose, you know, $20, $25 off a pair and they're in excellent condition, why not? That makes sense. That was Facebook Marketplace. On Poshmark, I had a pretty crazy week. Sales were $1,024. Again, I'm gonna talk about my strategy and what I've changed at the end of the video. All right, let's break down the packages and what we sent out. So we sent out a total of 20 packages on Poshmark for a total of 23 items. The average sale price, yeah, if you're doing the math here, it's pretty crazy. The average sale price was $44 and 52 cents. I think this is my highest week so far. Like I have so much to celebrate right now. This has been such a work in progress. I think this week was just an exception. It was a fantastic week with some just crazy sales and we're gonna go over these. So the highest sale on Poshmark was a pair of boots by AS98. They were the Daxton boots and they were in a size 39. They sold for $116 and they sold in two days, guys two days. I thrifted these for about 22. Pretty good return. I'm happy with that. Definitely looking for these AS98 boots. I've probably sold three pairs since I started on Poshmark and they're selling for over $75. They're just a really good boot. They retail for over 400 Canadian and uh, keep your eyes out for them or do some, do some research now. When you get off this video, do some research on this brand. Know what you're looking for and always be on the lookout for them. Let's go through these sales because I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really, I'm really proud. I'm going to say, I don't know what word I'm looking for. I'm really I blessed. I'm proud and blessed because I feel like I've put in a lot of effort into my sourcing and it's starting to really turn around and show into my sales. So Let's get this rolling. First sale of the week was a bundle and it was a pair of Gucci skinny blue jeans in a size 30 and a pair of J brand Maria super skinny jeans in atmosphere, that must be the color, in a size 28. So this bundle sold for $125. I thrifted these Gucci's maybe two weeks ago. 
they were skinny, which is good because that is a little bit current, uh, but they were kind of a low to mid rise. And I knew that that was gonna be a hold up on them. So when she put the bundle together, I really just wanted to send her an offer that I knew she couldn't resist so that I could get them moving and get the money back into my business. Next sale was another bundle. So I guess I should say, I'm only gonna do sales that are over $25. I had a couple that were lower, but I'm trying to just highlight those sales that are over $25. If you're curious and you wanna see everything that's sold, head on over to my Poshmark closet. It is the Urban Goddess and it's on the Canadian side. So you'll have to make sure you're in the Canadian side when you search it. Next bundle was a two-piece bundle. It sold for $54. The first item was a luxe deluxe white silk embroidered tunic dress in a size 10. And the other item was a Maeve. I don't even know how, I, how to say that. I should look that up. I say Maeve casual A-line tweed dress in a size large. And she received them. She left me a love note. So both dresses fit very well, absolutely beautiful, and in exactly the condition as described. I can't wait to wear them both. Oh, I can't wait for you to wear them both. Those are beautiful dresses. I'm so happy that it was able to find its next home and see some sunlight and rays of sunshine. Okay, next sale was an Arcteryx quarter zip black long sleeve top in a size large. This sold for $35. I sent her an offer to likes. Jules received it. She said, great piece in excellent condition. Thanks. You're welcome. It really was a fantastic piece. And I had to contemplate if I should keep it or not and just kind of went with selling it. But uh, Arcteryx, that is a brand that I am looking for. I do have an Arcteryx shirt. So if anyone's looking for an Arcteryx purple kind of crew neck top, I got one in my closet. It's pretty cute. I love that brand. Love it, love it. Next item to sell was a Climb black gray fleecy lined jacket in a size small. This sold for $35. If you are new to the brand Climb, it is used by snowmobilers. It tends to be quite expensive. If you ever come across a snowsuit, I believe their snowsuits can range from like six to $800. And I think even used, you would get a really good value. So anytime I'm coming across Climb outerwear, I'm gonna pick it up because you just gotta find the right person. Moving along, next item. This was a really quick flip and I'm always looking for a Ritzia item. So it is a Ritzia Wilfred Wanderer wide leg pant in gray in a size six. I couldn't find gray stock photos, so I used this one and then I just, you know, put the right photos behind it. A uh, linen is one of those things. If you're seeing win it, winning, <laughs> if you're seeing linen wide legged or any sort of like pants, like loose fitting pants, as long as the cost is really low, I would grab it because linen is selling quickly. I just saw a comment on my last video and someone commented that they had picked up a pair of linen pants and they sold within 48 hours. That's amazing. That is awesome. They are quick flips. People are searching for linen. To buy linen brand new is quite expensive. I think right now for sourcing, you can usually get it for a pretty reasonable price. That pair of pants sold for $40, which was pretty quick. And uh, I don't even think I had time to like put the inventory away. They were still sitting in an Ikea bag. Just had to pull them out there, package them up and send them out. Next item to sell was a vintage Ralph Lauren silk paisley button down top. This sold for $35. I had got this in one of my Jomar vintage resellers packs. I got a few really cute pieces. This was one of my favorite ones. I just liked the design of it. It was super soft. It would look so cute tucked into like some high-waisted jeans or worn like open over top of a nice cami. Just a really beautiful classic Ralph Lauren top and it was in a women's size 8. That was a really cool piece. Happy to see it moving along. Uh, next bundle was a two-piece bundle. This sold for $40. There was a cream oversized knit sweater in a size medium large and a pair of Keen Elsa sneakers, tribal embroidered print in an eight and a half. I've had both of these items for quite a while. Again, they're just waiting for the right person to come along. Uh, she did pay $40. She got a $3.50 shipping discount and she also left me a love note. Super happy with my order. Thanks. 
you're welcome. I hope you love them. Those sneakers were so cool. I wish they were my size because I feel like I would be rocking those as well. All right, next item. I talked about this in my last video, a Lululemon black scuba hoodie in a size 12. This sold for $45 on an OTL. I'm still picking up Lululemon scuba hoodies. If they are in a solid color, definitely in black. I kind of have a few colors that are on my list of what I'm looking for. If I'm paying less than $13, I'm probably gonna grab it because they've been selling pretty consistently for me between $45 and $65, dep depending on the size and the color, things like that. Definitely still grabbing them. I've sold a couple of these in the last few months. Next item to sell was another quick flip for me. It was a Free People Mixed Media Trucker Jean Jacket in a size medium. This sold for $75. She did get it on an OTL. I picked this up for like 16 bucks and was super surprised when I saw it because I was like, wow, okay, like, this is crazy. I don't normally find free people jackets thrifting in my local thrift stores. And I didn't even know where to price it. It was a couple years old. It was in really good condition. I like that it was in a size medium because realistically we know that's like a large extra large. Yeah, it was just a cool piece and obviously still really sellable and people are looking for it. I think it helps that it was a jean jacket because jean jackets are still selling really well, especially oversized jean jackets. Quite a few items go in and out of my closet last week uh, within a couple days. Next item to sell was a pair of Vince Camuto black leather Elroy loafers in a size nine. These sold for $25. I think I was hoping that these would sell for a little bit more. They were really nice, super comfortable, like buttery leather. The comps just weren't that great once I got home. I should have checked, uh, the, looked them up when I was in the store and I didn't. I just grabbed them just because they were really good condition, quality leather loafers. They didn't do as well as I was hoping that they would do. Next item to sell was a pair of Keen Dauntless leather flip-flop sandals in a size six and a half. These sold for $55 on an OTL. These I've also had for a couple of months and I've actually turned down a few pair of Keens because these ones weren't selling. And now that I look at the size, the reason they weren't selling was probably because they were a size six and a half. I definitely will be grabbing Keen sandals if I'm seeing them in the next month because I think they still have potential. Oh. I have some regrets right now. Like there are some sandals playing in my mind that I have literally put back on the shelf because I'm like, ah, those Keens just aren't moving. Oh my gosh, I did not realize that they were that small of a size. Okay, next item. This was one of those items that I took a risk on when I bought. I knew it was very unique, kind of quirky, but super cool. And it is a handmade, unique, Egyptian long sleeve jacket in a medium. This was kind of like a vintage uh, fit. It reminded me of like those 90s kind of jackets that had the cinch at the waist, but the material was impeccable. Like it was beautiful. I took so many close up pictures. I just needed the right person to see it. I listed it kind of high, I think. I knew that there was value in this jacket. So it sold for $79, exactly my asking price. I'm so happy and I can't wait for her to receive it because it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous and it's quality, like a very high quality handmade jacket. Anyways, that just makes me so excited. I love it when my unique, like quirky pieces go out because that is my heart. That is what I look for most. That is what makes my like, you know, my heart flutter when I'm out reselling is finding these really unique pieces and then, you know, hoping that they find a forever home. Okay, next bundle to sell sold for $100. This was a two-piece bundle. Uh, the first item was a vintage long sleeve chambray midi dress in a size 12. I did get this in one of my Jomar vintage boxes and also a pair of vintage lower east side chunky heel 90s loafers in a size nine. These were fantastic, they were amazing. So I sold the bundle for $100 and I love everything about this bundle. So this purchaser, Rachel and I, um, we've kind of been in conversations about various items and I think just the right items had to come up in my closet that she was looking for. So I hope she loves these. They are gorgeous and they're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. Like I get so excited. <laughs> about some of these items because 
you know when you see potential in something and you're like, man, this is cool, and then the, and then you know someone else sees them and they're like, man, this is cool, I need to get this. That's what it's all about. Like that's what reselling is all about for me. It's just it's finding those really cool things. Okay, I'm gonna keep going on. I can just go on and on about unique items, but I am gonna stay focused, guys. I'm gonna finish this what sold. Next item to sell was my big sale and it's a pair of AS98 Airstep Daxton pull-on boots in a size 39 which convert into a size eight and a half. I had to look that up. Yeah they sold for $116. I did send them an OTL and uh, that was fantastic. <laughs> I had thrifted these I think Friday right before we were packing up to go to the lake. I quickly took pictures and listed them before we left because I knew they were super nice. They're a really expensive shoe. I had them listed at $145. I sent an OTL and she bought them for $116. I paid $22 for these. Um, sometimes you got to pay up for an item, especially ones that have like really good resale value. And I think AS98 is one of those brands that has really good resale value. Make sure you're writing that brand down and keeping your eye out for them. Okay, next item to sell was a vintage 1980s pleated accordion bodice style dress in a size small. I thrifted this quite a while ago, but I really like the style of it. So it sold for $35. This was on an OTL. Very cute. Had like a little belt. Oh, I can't wait for her to receive it because I loved that dress. If I wear dresses, I'll wear that dress. Okay. And the last sale that I'm going to go over for the week was an oversized distressed jean jacket in an XL. It sold for $50. That was my asking price. It was actually like a men's jean jacket, so it fit very oversized on a lady. I had rolled up the sleeves and tried it on myself and absolutely loved it. I just have so many jean jackets from thrifting. You guys know if you're a thrifter and a reseller, you probably have an extensive collection of like certain items. Jean jackets is my thing. I got lots of jean jackets. So the jacket actually looked like it had a patch over the breast pocket and someone had peeled it off. They also had kind of like wrecked the denim there so it was a little bit distressed. I took pictures of it and put it in there and look, look guys, like a jacket doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a name brand. There was no brand to this jacket. It was just a cool oversized man's jacket. Okay, that wraps up the sales. What do you guys think? Anything in here that you're like, I totally pass this all the time in the thrift store or anything that you never would have thought of? Because there's a few things in here that I was like, hmm, kind of surprising. I'm a little bit like, okay, I got to keep my eye out a little bit more for items. Also, if you are picking up like Y2K or 1990s chunky heel shoes, list them high guys list them high they are valuable it's not like they're still making these right now there's not a ton of them out in the world so make sure you're setting you know a good bar for the value and i think i'm helping out and i send you all the good thrifting vibes okay let's talk about strategy so i've said this before i'm really changing the way i source i am looking for items that I know will sell for over $25. I think I maybe had three items this week that actually sold for less than $25. It's starting to work. I do have items in my closet that are less than $25, but they tend to be older sourced items. Anything that I'm sourcing new now, I'm looking for quality. I do pay up a little bit for items, but I would say the max that I'm paying for an item when I'm sourcing it is like, 20 to maybe $25. And if I'm paying $25 for an item, I'm expecting that it's selling for more than $100, if that makes sense. I feel like it's starting to work. I'm really excited going, you know, starting to make our way towards the third quarter and then going into the fourth quarter because I feel like I'm setting my closet up for good sales when we hit the busy season. And that's kind of what I think that, you know, summer is great to take off and to relax and stuff, but I feel like summer should be should be a growth time. This is where you build the closet for the busy season because you're going to be busy come after summer, I promise you, the sales get crazy, it gets busy. It was a very busy season for us last year and I wasn't prepared. So this year, I'm making sure that I have lots of inventory to list. I have lots of inventory that I'm building up in my closet. Uh, the other thing that I've been doing is sending out offers to likes. I don't do closet clear out as much. I know lots of people do. Um, 
I haven't been. But what I do do on closet clear out day is I will send OTLs on my items or like recent likes and I'll send it for like 25% off. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I try not to change the prices of my items as much anymore where I used to drop them down all the time, but I would end up clearing things out. I think I have to clear some stuff out of my closet, but I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know where I stand on closet clear out right now. And I know some people send out the message, you know, saying, hey, if you're interested in this item, I could drop the price and you'll save money on shipping. Uh, I haven't done that yet. I keep saying I'm going to, but yeah, my biggest thing has just been offers to likes, like OTLs right now, and uh, making sure I'm sourcing good quality items and then pricing accordingly. Now, when it comes to pricing, I wanna talk about this because I know people are always like, well, I don't know how to price. I actually rely on Poshmark's suggested price often, like probably more than I should, and it probably makes people cringe, but I find it very useful, and it's actually a time saver. So what I'll do is I'll look, I'll click it, so they'll give you the price range. Say they're like 26 to $34 or something. I'll actually click on it and take a look at it. Now, I believe it's showing what solds, so keep in mind some of those items are going in bundles, but like some of those items, that's what they sold. Doesn't mean necessarily what they're listed at. So I don't even necessarily list at within that price range. I actually usually list a little bit higher because then I have room to make a deal with someone and sell within that range. If that makes sense, if you have any questions or you wanna chat about that, drop it down in the comments. I'd love to talk with you guys. You know me, always open for discussion. I'm gonna wrap this up, okay. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you guys. There's so many new faces that I see popping up and I just wanna say hi, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you tap subscribe and you hit the little bell so you get all the notifications anytime I'm dropping a new video. Other than that, I hope you have a fabulous week. I wish you many good thrift trips and lots of good finds. Okay guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you next time. Bye.